All right, welcome back to the uh, Cartoon Smart uh, Podcast. And uh, I think for a few videos, we're going to take a, a little bit of a break from talking about uh, Swift and Xcode and uh, look at uh, WordPress because I'm sure many of you out there, even if you're an app developer, uh, you're going to want to create a website and you don't want to have to go and kind of learn HTML and, and all that. And uh, there's plenty of great solutions out there now, uh, one of which is going to be uh, to set up a WordPress site. You can do it in a, a night or two. Uh, and the, the website that you're looking at right here is uh, is one that was uh, created by uh, myself and uh, my brother-in-law, and he's kind of taken the reins on it uh, now. But it, over the course of about two nights, we, we set it up. Um, that's including everything from like getting the domain, um, in installing WordPress, uh, getting the hosting obviously before that, and uh, and then the design work. And then we kind of spent a second night just figuring out integrations, um, getting some Facebook ads in there and stuff like that. Or, or I'm sorry, Facebook tracking so that we can do some advertising later, which is great for a small kind of brick and mortar business. So, uh, and, and you know what? Um, I am, as usual, joined by... My friend here, Cleavon, who uh, does want to start up a, a business, right? It's true. Uh, I, I do have the uh, the domain set already, and uh, I, I just kind of would like to, you know, when I get on these podcasts, I'd like to mention it and uh, maybe get some traffic over there, things like that. So I got some good stuff to sell. And you know me, I'm kind of a gig economy type of guy, so any sort of thing that I could plug is going to help me out in the long run, I think. And if you can get me to this point, that would be terrific. Well, yeah, what I want to do is I, I want to kind of, um, and it's good that you're here because I want your kind of eyes on this as someone that uh, is not familiar uh, with terms like FTP and, and, and some of the maybe more technical stuff that um, can really trip people up the first time around and make them kind of give up on things, right? I have given up on uh, all, like, uh, I would say, 10 websites in the past. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm batting uh, zero for 10 right now. So let's go ahead and get this going. Okay, so I did jot down just a, a couple notes over here, and uh, one of them is uh, if you are a small site or business just starting off, this is important. That I, I can already read ahead, and I know that that is important for for me particularly. Yeah, you you can go cheap. You you don't have to get a server or something like that. That's going to cost you fifty bucks a month. And we could actually take a look at some of the pricing on uh, GoDaddy for. Uh, they're what are essentially kind of managed WordPress plans or, or, or just out of the box uh, WordPress uh, based site. And uh, that I, I'm not uh, advocating GoDaddy. I, I, a lot of my friends use them. But um, is, is there a um, is there a Go Mommy? I kind of feel like the GoDaddy seems, I don't know, it doesn't gel with me. I don't know. Just it's a it's a name. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so pretty much anywhere is going to be relatively cheap, although they're, you know, one of the, one of the first domain, well, let's, let's split things up here. You, you can, you can register a, uh, domain, okay, your URL in the browser, right, whatever that's going to be, uh, with the same site that you're going to host with, or if, let's suppose you've already registered your domain, maybe you had this idea kicking around years ago, and you registered it with whoever showed up first in you know the the browser when you typed in how do I register a domain? You don't you don't have to host with them, so don't feel like uh, that's a requirement. And that would maybe be one of the cases where this does not apply. So for, for perhaps you registered a domain with uh, Network Solutions, they're one of the pricier places out there. Even to register a domain, they're still very pricey. One of the original ones and. Um, uh, so we'll talk about how to basically point your domain uh, from the place that you registered it at to a, a different host. All right. So just keep in mind that those don't have to go hand in hand. If you are starting from scratch right now, I would say go simple. Go to a place like GoDaddy. Uh, they will probably register a domain for you uh, when you're getting your host. So everything is kind of uh, packaged uh, together there. So uh, keep that in mind. You can go cheap. We can probably get this under $5, $7 a month or something like that. And for the hosting for your website, that is a, a fantastic deal. That, yeah, that's a, that's affordable for me. And and you know what? Can I just point something out over here? I think there might have been a mistake. This says dogwood.pizza. And uh, I have never in my life heard of a, a dot pizza domain. That's got it. You know, you you do put out a lot of funny jokes in these in these video podcasts, but uh, that uh, that's borderline. Uh, you don't want to mess up your brother right there, do you? No, that actually is. There's all these cool domain extensions now, and uh, we actually couldn't get dogwood.com, so we just thought, why don't we be unique and 
and use and kind of embrace the the new the, these are called the top level domains the new uh, domains out there or, or extensions uh, and, and it can be kind of a fun thing to tell people too like you know uh, he could put a little card in front of his business or something like that that says visit us at dogwood.pizza you know, and then in big parentheses, yes, it's a dot pizza, not dot com, you know, and I, I feel like I was actually kind of one of the ones that would advocate, it was advocating that and um, we'll, we'll see if it works out. But I, I, uh, I, I feel like it would be memorable and I would kind of be intrigued almost to type in that to be like, can I really put in a, a dot pizza domain? I, yeah, I just put it in my phone right now, and it did. Um, do you want a pizza? Because we could order it. Uh, I'm, I'm right on the website. Well, you're on the website too, but I'm on it. No, don't. They're they're not really that close to me right now, so it's, it would take about an hour for them to deliver it. But uh, anyway, all right. So let's uh, let's get started. And uh, what we're gonna do is let's let's just run over here to GoDaddy real fast. I want to show you guys that, uh, and you can just type in here something like GoDaddy um, WordPress. Uh, plans or something. Yeah, WordPress plans would probably work just fine. And I'm sure, uh, well, yeah, we'll just go down to that. I don't know why I didn't click their, their ad. But uh, okay, we don't need to talk to anybody. So this is probably what you're going to be looking at. And uh, th this, this basic plan, like I was saying, it um, you, you could probably get away with this just fine. Just keep in mind, the real price is about $7.99. So whatever you see here, realize that will change eventually. And it's, uh, it's telling you that you get, obviously, one website, uh, 10 gigs of storage is plenty. And uh, you can actually uh, kind of farm out your, 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 uh, your hosting of your bigger things, like your images and stuff like that, to uh, what's called a, a CDN or, or a content delivery network, I believe. <laughs> um, but, uh, and, and again, and you're probably not going to get 25,000 uh, monthly visitors initially. Uh, I'm sure you would get some sort of warning if you went over that, and they'll just say, "Hey, we're bumping you, bumping you up to deluxe or, or whatever it is." But the important thing here too is you you also get a free domain with your annual plan. So again, if you haven't registered that domain yet, uh, I would say this this is one of your better options right here. Uh, and and you know what? Maybe go big. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'd consider going big the fifty cent more plan, but uh, you could probably even go up to something like that. I mean, maybe from in my situation where I'm on very tight budget, for the difference between nine ninety nine and fourteen ninety nine is like you know, uh, skiing with uh, two skis instead of one. One of the you know, but uh, th this is uh, I, I would say between these two, maybe just go ahead and go for the ducks. So, um, so let's just pretend that I did that, right? I, actually, I can um, I can log in uh, to a kind of test domain test package that I've got. So we'll we'll, t we'll take a look at that. Let's, let's pause it and we'll see what's what's going on kind of inside after you've done all the payment for for things like that. Okay, so this is what a what you're going to basically come into after you have done a couple of things. Signed up for the manage WordPress plan. They're going to ask you. Uh, as you're doing that, if you want to add on a domain, of course, you're going to want to do that if you haven't uh, registered one yet. And uh, basically, you're just going to pay for it. You're going to set up your subscription or whatever with uh, PayPal. And then you've got your two domains. Or I mean, basically, they're going to ask you for a, uh, sorry, they're going to ask you for a uh, a login. See, you do mess up some of the time. Not, it's not always me. Uh, they're going to ask you for your login uh, for, for basically setting up the WordPress uh, dashboard. Okay. And that's what you're going to end up using. Uh, to log into your website and uh, sort of from this point on, you, you do not need to uh, go through GoDaddy uh, to log into your website, but there is, but you can do it through here. So I just want to point out that um, if you click on managed uh, and I'm just kind of thumbing through uh, screenshots that I took that deleted some uh, not really sensitive information, but stuff that stuff that you don't want everybody to know about. You know, no, we don't want everybody in my business or your business. Now, actually, Cleavon, I'm probably going to use a lot of screenshots from your actual website when we get this set up. Am I going to be? It, it, are you compromising my security? What is, are you just going to be showing like my credit card and stuff like that? No, of course not. All right, so. Um, uh, after this, what we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, manage, and that's actually going to take you right into the the WordPress dashboard. And uh, again, I'll uh, I'll just pick on one more website 
uh, this actually is uh, it's coming from my brother-in-law's, but obviously I've stripped out everything. So uh, this is uh, this is what you'll end up with looking at, at and uh, kind of your initial spot uh, in the back end. There's a little term terminology for you. Like the uh, kind of like the back end of a of a pickup, you know, the drivers up front and everything like that. That's what people are gonna see when they're driving down the road coming at you, and they might not see what's in the back end. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, so, uh, and then we've got all sorts of stuff that we can click on over here. We can install install plugins, and uh, we're gonna go into all that. But uh, again, if you're just getting set up, if you get to this point you're in great shape and what you could do is whatever your domain name is to avoid having to go uh, you know through through GoDaddy or your provider to get to the, this point you can start to type in just your domain and then the slash and uh, WP dash uh, login uh, dot PHP but you'll probably well, we can also create a login for page and make it a little bit easier even than that so uh, but again that's that's stuff in the the future so uh, let's go ahead and talk about the case where if you did not register your domain let's suppose that you have registered it years ago or something like that and it's just kind of sitting there doing nothing uh, but you, then you want to start to point it at a, a, a different host from where you uh, registered it. So as this, uh, you can read this whole thing over here. Hold on, let me, uh, I can't make out the middle part. Let me get my glasses on, okay. Oh, DNS, all right. So that stands for Domain Name Server. That is correct. All right, so that's what you're going to want to find uh, the settings for, uh, and wherever you register the domain. Okay. And it's, it's not going to be hard to find. Um, a lot of times it'll be listed just as a DNS settings. Uh, it might I'd say domain name server. Okay. Something like that. Uh, and, uh, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to bring in. This is actually from the browser here. So Cleavon, this is, uh, uh, your website that you registered and, uh, you, you do realize that you spelled American made wrong uh, yeah that's kind of a long story i, I ordered about uh, ten thousand hats and i uh, did it over the phone and this is just a, a mistake on my part i should they didn't they offered me a proof you know just to to you know take a look at what i was buying and and i but i thought i was very uh, descriptive over the phone i said uh, yeah i want the hat to say american made right and I was very clear. I slowed it down. American made, and it, uh, of course, ten thousand hats later, that's what I got. But uh, you know, I'm kind of, kind of, I've, I've since embraced it, and people smile when they see it. So, uh, you know, so we're gonna go with it for the domain. And the actual American made, uh, American made, uh, was taken. As was America.com. I was surprised. I thought I could get in there and get that one, but. Uh, Anyway, so Cleavon, uh, yeah, what you're going to want to look for is your name server settings, and uh, most likely this is going to uh, be set to, it's going to say something like, I, I, this is a one, I registered it for you through one and one. So right now it's just saying one and one name servers, and uh, if you were with GoDaddy or something like that, it'd probably say GoDaddy name servers. But if you're going to point it somewhere else, then you're going to want to click on other name servers, and then what you can do is uh, start to fill in your name server settings, and uh, these would be provided to you by uh, your host for the website, okay? So again, we're just dealing with where we registered the domain, which can be separate from the host. So the host is then gonna give you basically something that looks like, um, you know, maybe godaddy.nameserver.something or other, right? Sometimes it's they're, they, they kind of put in there you know, some mention of who they are. Sometimes it doesn't make any sense at all what they're providing you, but they will give you an email and things like that that are going to say that, okay, now if you need to point your domain to us, here's the here's the, what to put in. And it's usually going to be two of them, okay? Uh, and uh, additional names. So let's see. My set, yeah, and you can throw in there a, a secondary name server. So a lot of times, again, it is two. There's, I guess there's maybe sort of like a backup or something like that. And um, you, you can kind of think of this as... The what happens on the internet is someone goes and they types in they type in your browser uh, your your URL in the browser window right okay so that gets kind of sent out through old cyberspace uh, and it uh, ends up landing on the basically some big computer that just kind of 
knows where to point everybody else to. So it says, okay, I, I found American made uh, and they're telling me to go point to this particular host. So it kind of bounces over there and that's where you end up, right? All right, so the, it is kind of an, uh, an extra step if you, if you haven't, uh, if, if you did register somewhere else, but uh, as I'm sure many of you have. So uh, go ahead and uh, get that set up and uh, what we'll do in the next video is kind of talk about uh, another situation that could arise if you uh, have not just immediately signed up for a WordPress plan you do have to install it uh, yourself. You're not going to let me say goodbye to everybody. You're just going to, that's how you're going to end it. And, I, and I, by the way, I thought I was supposed to be the one that was spearheading uh, these uh, these video podcasts. But you, you have really, sir, kind of taken control this time around. But, you know, I suppose it is your website and uh, your podcast. Uh, sorry. I mean, do you want to mention the website? My website, not uh, the one that doesn't really exist right now and is also a joke. You're calling my website a joke? You know what? What if I put in cartoonsmart.com right now? I'm going to see a bunch of cartoons and stuff like that. You know, it, uh, education should be, in some sense, serious, right? No, I mean, it's, it can be light and fun, and it uh, doesn't have to be, you know, this, that, and all the boring stuff out there. You know what I'm saying? Do do you do I know what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.